Hi, I'm Sean Puckett, the developer of Paintbook for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Paintbook is an application for drawing and painting on your iPhone screen. Unlike similar applications, Paintbook uses vectors, mathematical representations of your finger strokes, instead of pixels, to store your artwork. This means your pictures have smooth curves, sharp edges, and no jagged lines. It also means you can zoom in as close as you want for detailed work. When you create a new painting, the painting tool you start with simulates a drawing pencil. You can use the pencil as a starting point to sketch out your image or simply keep using the pencil to create a fine line drawing. Touching the palette icon brings up the palette wheel. Tap on a color chip to give your current brush a new color. You can paint again immediately. Paintbook is designed to stay out of your way as much as possible so you can concentrate on your artwork. Touching the brush icon brings up the painting tool screen. There are 12 built-in brushes available and the brush you are currently using is highlighted in blue. Tap a different brush to paint with it. Paintbook remembers the color you last used with each brush, just like real brushes, so you can switch back and forth between brushes and colors quickly. To change a brush's color, just visit the palette wheel, tap quickly, and you'll return to your drawing. You can combine colors on the palette wheel by touching two or more paint chips simultaneously. Look at the color chip in the center of the wheel as I mix different colors by touching combinations. Red and white make pink, red and yellow make orange, green, blue, and black make a nice deep sea foam color. Tap the draw icon to return to your painting. Paintbook's preset brushes offer different painting styles. The brush you are using is shown highlighted in blue, and the brush settings for it can be changed at the top of the screen. Paintbook stores strokes as real-world equivalents, and as you see here, brush widths are measured in millimeters. Change the size of the current brush by dragging the lower slider, and see how the stroke preview changes. Notice how zooming in on my drawing makes the brush previews zoom in as well, larger and larger. You always know just how large your brush will be on your drawing. I want to make a custom color. At the color wheel, I will touch and hold a color chip. Now the chip is highlighted in blue. At the bottom of the screen are two color adjusters. The left one changes the color hue without changing brightness. As I stroke the adjuster, the chip changes too. The right adjuster changes brightness and color intensity without changing hue. This makes shading, such as adding shadows or highlights, very easy, as the color remains faithful. It is easy to make a slight change, draw, make another change, draw, and so on at any time. Paintbook simulates different types of artistic mediums, such as pencil, paint, charcoal, airbrush, and so on, by varying the size, opacity, ends, and color mixing of a tool. While Paintbook doesn't offer precise replicas of traditional mediums, like desktop applications such as Corel Painter, due to limited screen space and processing power, it does give you many choices. Brush width can be changed from a tenth of a millimeter to 100 millimeters, about 4 inches, with this slider. To recreate the look of a traditional tool, choose a brush width that matches the end of the tool. For a pastel stick, which we'll simulate here, we'll choose about 8 millimeters, or slightly less than a quarter of an inch. Brush density changes how much pigment or ink the brush lays down on each stroke. Paintbook is not pressure sensitive because the iPhone screen does not register pressure, so we'll choose a medium density to simulate pressing down moderately on the pastel stick, about 60%. Notice how overlapping strokes enhance the color, just as they do in real life. You can blend colors by returning momentarily to the color wheel and overlapping strokes of a new color. If we reduce the density, say to 30%, that simulates a lighter pressure on the pastel, and we can make subtler blends. You can overlap strokes as much as you want to build up color. Notice how the variation of color in the area we are blending makes the painting look more like a real painting and less like a digital image. This is worth remembering. Imperfections and variations can actually improve the visual aesthetic of your work, making it look more natural. Let's talk about pigment versus ink. Pigment is opaque. 
Notice here, as I paint a yellow pigment line over a blue field, how the stroke becomes more and more yellow as the yellow pigment obscures the previous blue. Paintbook allows you to use transparent ink colors as well as opaque pigment colors with your brushes. You can tell that a brush is applying ink by noticing the droplet icon here in the brush pad. If I use yellow ink instead of yellow pigment over the blue field, see how the yellow combines with blue to make green. While pigment mode lets you simulate pencils, charcoal, pastels, acrylic and oil paints, ink mode lets you simulate watercolor paint, dyes, and pen inks. To buy Paintbook for your iPhone or iPod Touch, just use the App Store on your device and search for Paintbook. Thanks for watching.